one week post steroid injection and here is this week's knee update so i actually got a hold of my surgeon consultant whatever you call chap um thursday the week after the steroid injection to ask the question about what i'm supposed to expect post injection now we had a fabulous analogy with regards to uh, throwing buckets of water on fires so here's what he said so apparently the steroid injection is my bucket of water. So you could throw a bucket of water on a fire and the fire might go out. Super. You might throw a bucket of water on a fire, the fire might go out, but then it might uh, smolder for a bit and then reignite afterwards. Or you might throw a bucket of water on a fire and the fire is actually a bonfire. So your bucket of water is going to do nothing at all to help it. And so there we go. So what I need to find out, and I have to wait about six weeks to find this out, is what type of fire my knee represents. So what do I do in the meanwhile? Well, apparently business as usual. Now, what is usual? Appar uh, it has been suggested that maybe I should take it easy. Well, actually, I feel like a 90-year-old in the things that I can do and not do, because I can't walk very far without having to sit down can't sit on a chair very long without having to stand up. I can't stand up with, very long without having to sit down. I can't demonstrate a whole lot of the exercises that I do. I compensate an awful lot left leg, which gives me problems with that leg, which means I have to have regular massages. What else? Uh, cycling hurts. The only thing that doesn't at the moment is swimming. So all that said, Am I going to take it easy? No, because if I take it any easier, then I will become a couch potato. So I actually haven't gone tramping or walking or anything very much for a long time because it gives me pain. And actually, walking fitness is, a, is quite an essential sort of fitness that I would recommend all my clients have. So the fact that I don't have it is, uh, does not sit well with me. So that's where I'm going to start walk before you can run so to speak so at the weekend i did a i don't know 30 minute walk it was reasonably flat not too many ups and downs i totally had the wrong shoes on i did not have my walking poles but that's okay it was not that challenging and according to mark uh, the pace compared to what my pay what my neck and knee pace usually is was actually quite reasonable but like i said that was only like 20 to 30 minute walk and that's well that's not going to set the world on fire is it but it's a start what I have also found is that so far and I know it's early days um, that I I'm not pain free but the pain uh, is a little bit longer into something that I'm doing before I get the pain um, I'm perhaps only talking, I don't know, a couple of minutes. I can sit on a chair with my feet on the ground for a couple of minutes or so before I have to move my legs, uh, whereas I couldn't do it at all before. So I would say that there has been a slight difference, and I'm back on my drugs as well, which is the other thing the consultant said I should never have stopped it taking. So I'd say there's a tiny difference, but whether it's a long-lasting tiny difference and whether it's enough of a difference to hold off surgery for 12 plus years possibly i uh, don't know it's too early to say so moving forward here's my plan i am going to focus on what i can do adapt what i can't do and what am i trying to achieve well i'm trying to achieve at least some of the fitness back that i used to have before i had to stop doing everything and turn into a little old lady